In this video, I'm going to show you how to change the thread on the Janome MB7 embroidery machine. You can see um, in my print here that I'm going to need yellow and the yellow um, is going to be the third spool that I need. So it has to go in position three. It shows you right here. So up here, you can see that I've labeled the spool locations with numbers. So this is number one, that's two, three's in the back. Right now it's orange. Okay, I'm gonna swap this yellow spool, I mean this orange spool for a yellow spool. So when you have a new spool, it's wrapped in plastic and you have to get the plastic off of it. You can see, um, here, there's one loose piece of thread, so that's the end of the, sp of the spool, that's the end of the thread, so I need to keep track of that. This spool, I'm gonna take off of the stand, I'm gonna sit it next to it. I'm gonna put this one on the stand. I'm going to cut the orange string here near the spool. So I'm cutting the orange string, I'm leaving the string threaded through the machine. Threading the machine is really complicated. So the, rather than pulling the orange string out, I'm gonna use the orange string as a feeder string for the yellow one. So I'm tying them together in a knot. And after I tie the yellow string that is not threaded onto the orange string that is threaded, I can, I can move this one out of the way. Now I have the yellow string tied onto the orange one. And all I have to do is come to the front of the machine down here where the needles are. And I'm gonna, count to the third one over it's labeled right there it is the orange one and I'm simply gonna pull on that string down here I'm take took it out of the needle and I'm pulling on the string and I'm gonna pull it until I see the yellow color come down here yellow is working its way through the mechanism now and now here it is and here's the knot that I tied and I'm going to trim off the yellow make sure I have plenty to spare there now I have to thread the needle. And if you have good eyesight, you could poke this right through, but I don't have great eyesight. So there's a little tool that's gonna to help me. And this is a needle threading tool made specifically for this machine. It has an arrow, it's not focusing on it very well. It has an arrow right here that shows you that's supposed to be the top side of the needle threading machine. So I'm gonna use it with this pointing up and it, you'll notice also it has four um, uh, four slots in it all the way around, and one on each side. So I'm going to point this up, and I'm going to put the thread through it this direction. What happens is you poke it in like this, a little metal piece comes out. I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little metal piece that's exposed when I push it. And that little metal piece is going to poke through the eye of the needle and push the string through the eye, eye of the needle for me. So I'm gonna move this closer and try and set it up so that you can watch me do this. Okay, I've got one, two, three. I've got the yellow string, which is the color I want. I'm going to put the yellow string into the needle threader from the right side to the left side. So it's going to go horizontally across the needle threader, threader with the arrow pointing up on it. And then I'm going to push the needle threader until it goes through the hole in the needle and I can see a little loop coming out the back side. At that point, I can remove the needle threader. There's a little loop going through the needle right now and I can pull that, that loop through and now my needle is threaded. I take the end of the string and I just stick it up here in the spring that's above the needles and that will uh, make sure it doesn't come unthreaded. It will hold it and anchor it in place for me. That's how you thread the machine.